Meanwhile, did you know we are 10 days away from the Olympics? So it might be on your bucket list, a two week vacation to watch the games wherever they're being held. By the way, Paris is the next host city. We well, have to wait at least three more years for your first opportunity since fans aren't allowed at this year's game, but still we can dream and maybe start saving. So I looked up some of the cheapest and the most expensive ways to enjoy this year's event in Japan. Let's start with the flights. If you were to plan a last minute trip, prices of course would skyrocket. The cheapest round trip flight I found to Tokyo cost over $1,500. But if you're really willing to shell out the cash, the most expensive flight I found was over $10,000. Remember, there are good and bad times to buy flights. Experts recommend you make your purchase no less than six weeks out from your trip. So you got your flight, now where are you staying? According to Trivago's hotel price index, the average hotel in a city like New York is around $250 today. In Tokyo, it's about $100 cheaper. A little more bang for your buck. But still, 14 nights, $151 per night, you're looking at $2,100, and that's on average. While fans aren't allowed at the games this year because of the pandemic, we did find what the cost would have been had the games taken place when originally scheduled. According to the Olympic website, the cheapest ticket came in around $18, and the most expensive ticket for the opening ceremony was around $2,000. All right, so I'm going to say a safe bet would be saving around $5,000, and that doesn't actually include food. Luckily, this year you can watch CW39 for the latest from Japan. We will actually have 20 people on the ground in Tokyo throughout the games bringing us those reports. And speaking of Tokyo,